our listeners. Uh, today we continue with the third podcast uh, on the first topic of the seven laws of reality and beings uh, from the Kaibalion, which is the principle of mind. And we already spoken about this in the first two episodes. Um, we we saw how this principle is can be found in the hermetic traditions and uh, how it's defined in the Kabbalion. Today we continue with the third podcast uh, with the principle of mind uh, as it is found in the Buddhist tradition um, and um, we are going to talk about the Mayana Buddhist tradition called the mind only. So in the Buddhist traditions there is a, a, an ontological tenet system or a philosophical view which asserts that uh, uh, basically there are no such thing as externals or external things uh, phenomena but everything is simply uh, non-dual with the mind uh, and that this mind is an absolute reality so this is tradition is founded upon the Buddha statement which uh, says in the Lankavatara Sutra uh, all, all the three worlds are mind only so uh, this is the basis for this um, tradition mind-only uh, ontological school um, says or asserts that um, when we see a table, the visual form of the table that we see does actually not exist separately from the visual consciousness or the mind in which it appears. And um, when several people see the same table, uh, each person is experiencing basically the same causes for the perception of that table. So it's the, the shared causes that um, the, that um, makes it possible for a multitude of people to see and uh, uh, perceive the same thing. Um, so um, the in the individual co- cognition of, visu- of, the, of the visual form, uh, the visual form and the visual consciousness that see see this form uh, come from come and share the same source, which is the the karmic ground of the um, eight consciousness, which we'll see later. Basically, this karmic ground means that there are specific causes and conditions for this ap- appearance of the object into the mind of the beings that uh, perceive it. Um, so and this is due to uh, what it is explained as the eighth consciousness so in this um, in this ontological system uh, there are uh, eight aspects of consciousness Uh, five aspects are related to the five sense consciousness and the mind uh, the mind uh, cognition simple simply the 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 mind uh, cognition um, which arises following uh, immediately following the arising of a sense perception. Then there is a, 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 a seventh, a seventh consciousness, which is the aspect of the uh, afflicted or ego grasping uh, aspect of consciousness, which uh, always believes in an identity of consciousness. So it, it superimposes a particular identity. And then there is the eighth consciousness, which we spoke about before, which is the storehouse or ground consciousness, which is the source of all the other aspects of consciousness. And uh, it's not uh, a, a subject object uh, duality um, grasped consciousness. This, this aspect is, um, is basically a non substantial. Uh, and um, and it's dynamic it, it organizes and integrates tendencies and structures the individual's uh, experience of reality and it's the source of all the impure and uh, all, all impure appearances that um, any sentient beings can perceive so every sentient beings with its uh, subjective or objective worlds uh, basically can be reduced to its own ground consciousness 
and this ground consciousness is basically the sum of all the actions, intentions, tendencies that uh, from beginningless time this uh, being has been uh, accumulating and experiences. Uh, so this is the mind only um, uh, ontological system and uh, we will stop here for, for, for this one. Um, you can find much more information about this in my book, The Seven Laws of Reality and Being, which is the commentary of the Kaibalion. And um, we will speak more in the next uh, few podcasts about other different uh, traditions which asserts that everything is mind. Thank you for listening. Thank you.